In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SRAM Eagle B-Screw Adjustment Tool. The B-Screw adjusts how far your derailleur is away from your cassette. And with SRAM Eagle, it is a crucial adjustment. In fact, my cross-country bike is not shifting well, and I'm pretty sure it's the B-Screw. So I'm going to use this tool to set the B-Screw. Now, I will mention that you're supposed to do this with the bike at sag. In other words, you're sitting in the saddle. So really, it takes two people to do this right. So you sitting on your bike and then someone else making this adjustment. It's a super quick adjustment. Like it takes less than 30 seconds. But having this tool is going to make this job so much easier. So let me demonstrate how this tool works. The first thing that you want to do is shift into your second largest cog. So right there. Then you're going to take the tool like this and just snap it onto the biggest cog. And then you're going to rotate the wheel so that this shelf right here, this little shelf, rests against the outside of your upper jockey wheel. And then we're going to adjust the B-screw. So this is my B-screw on this SRAM Eagle. And this is probably where most of them are going to be located and this uses a three millimeter allen wrench so all we're going to do is turn that now as i rotate it counterclockwise the derailleur is going to go closer to the cassette if i turn it clockwise it's going to push the derailleur further away from the cassette what we're doing is we're aligning the center of the screw of the upper jockey wheel into this little window and you want to make sure you have the tool always make contact to the derailleur pulley and also onto the cassette. So in this case, my derailleur is too far away from my cassette. So I'm going to turn my B-screw counterclockwise so I'm moving the derailleur closer to the cassette. So as I do, you can see it coming in. And then I want to make it align in the center of that window. Again, push down, make sure it's still making contact with the jockey wheel and also make sure the tool is onto the cassette. And that is looking good. I'm going to turn it just a little bit more. All right, that is aligned. So that's how you use the tool. After you use this, your shifting should be okay. Just a maintenance tip here, if your shifting is still not working well, there's a chance that your rear derailleur hanger may be bent. And in that case, you would need to use the Park DAG Rear Derailleur Adjustment Guide. It just so happens, I uploaded a video recently of this Park DAG3 and how to use it. So check that out. I'll put that in the description below for quick access. Any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.